Five Nights of Freddy's. Welcome back to this game. That's actually number two. Five Nights of Freddy's number two. And uh, it's locked to 60 frames, as I believe. I haven't even started the game yet because this game is like uh, straight on. I cannot even show what resolution am I using or anything like that. It's set basically everything. I cannot say anything. And this is maybe I'm not sure if there's another part gonna, gonna be like Five Nights at Freddy's one or something. I'm not sure, I haven't checked. If I see, I might have it or not. I'm not too sure. But yes, um, I'll just do a new game. And uh, here we are. Okay, carry on. 12 a.m. Uh, first night. Five nights of Freddy's can I escape? Press the control to use flashlight. You can hear me up. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Uh, hello and welcome to your new summer job at the new and improved Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm here to talk you through some of the things you can expect to see during your first week here and to help you get started down this new and exciting career path. Uh, now, I want you to forget anything you may have heard about the old location, you know. Uh, some people still have a somewhat negative impression of the company. Uh, that old restaurant was kind of left to rot for quite a while, but uh, I want to reassure you, Fadbury Entertainment is committed to family fun and above all, safety. They've spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. Uh, facial recognition, advanced mobility. They even let them walk around during the day. <laughs> Isn't that neat? <clears throat> but most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal database so they can detect a predator a mile away. Heck, we should be paying them to guard you. Uh, now, that being said, no new system is without its kink. Uh, you're only the second guard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy finished his week, but complained about conditions. Uh, we switched him over to the day shift. So, hey, lucky you, right? Uh, mainly he expressed concern that certain characters seemed to move around at night, and even attempted to get into his office. Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. Uh, that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So, while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that... The robots were never given a proper night mode, so when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. So our temporary solution is this. There's a music box over by the prize counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So just every once in a while, switch over to the prize counter video feed and wind it up for a few seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. Uh, and as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. You see, there may be a minor glitch in the system, something about the robot thing you was an endoskeleton without a costume on, and one of the stuff you want to do. So hey, we've given you an empty Freddy Fazbear head. Problem solved. You can put it on any time. Now it's, okay, now it's done talking, okay. 60 frames set. Can I change anything? I can't change in. <coughs> God bless me. Okay. Can I change anything? No. <coughs> what is this? Oh. I hate this sound. I don't want any jump scares. What's going on? I just feel like taking off my headphones. It's like nearly 12 o'clock. <laughs> like a wind up music book, click and hold. Tells. 
This is one of the boring video um, I may be doing. Okay, I'm just gonna go calm. Nothing interesting. Signal, okay. Just gonna go like this and then control the things over there. I cannot even leave. the end of the video and uh, maybe the next part is gonna be like number one and this is the end of the hope you guys enjoyed this boring video and uh, peace out